Hello and welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at another small fighter, but this one has AI controlled missiles thanks to the latest update, and it comes in a nice small compact design. So this is called the BX-65A Missile Fighter, which comes with two Gatling guns for some manual firepower, and then AI controlled missiles to launch at your enemies. Now as we're going to do later on, towards the pirate headquarters, they're sitting in the distance. So this thing is primarily powered by atmospheric thrusters, we do have a couple of hydrogen at the bank there to give it a little speed boost in case we need it. We also have a unique landing gear system, we'll see that a bit later on. For the moment, we're going to press F10, find it in the spawn menu, and we'll go from there. 1,936 small blocks using the Automaton's DLC packs. It uses no scripts, it uses no mods, so it's purely vanilla. And we've got a nice bit of information about it, such as its controls, and that you need to go to page number 9 to actually use the missiles. So giving this thing a thumbs up and move around towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go and fly around for a bit, then move over to the pirates and launch the missiles at them. So my character can now bugger off just a little bit, there we go, and this is what we get at the very front for the missile fighter. So right in the middle what we can see is a bunch of lovely white steel blocks that make up the main body of this ship. Behind that is our fighter cockpit to drive this thing around, then on the left right hand side we can see all of our AI controlled missiles, which are hydrogen based with a small warhead right behind that front block. If you have to move down just a little bit, we we'll see our unique landing leg right next to a camera behind that window. But this is what it looks like. We've simply got a piston on a hinge that will deploy all the way down with a steel block on the end of it, and that's just simply how we drop it to the ground. It does not have any magnetic plates, so if you were to switch this off on the hill, it will start to slide down. Pulling away from there, looking at on the side, we've got a lovely blue stripe in a digital camouflage skin that goes all the way across the side of this vehicle. Over to this section, that is our Gatling gun to blast our enemies with, and here are our AI controlled missiles. We can see our AI controller block in the middle, surrounded by some red blocks. Behind this, if I was to put the camera all the way through, we'll see our small warhead. There it is right there. We can move around onto the side, onto this one even. We can see our hydrogen thrusters for control in all directions. We've got a small hydrogen tank to give it a bit of power. There's our gyroscope. There's how it's been connected up. So we've got two small connectors and our merge blocks. Around towards the very back of it, we've got two lights to give it a blue glow from behind. Anyway, moving on to the side and back onto the ship, simply how it looks like from the side view. So we can see two large atmospheric thrusters to give us off the ground. And as we move around towards the very back, past over to this section, we've got one large atmospheric thruster to push us around with two small hydrogen just in case we need it. Now this thing is quite slow to maneuver around at first, so you will need to use them to give yourself a boost. But once you're running around at high speeds, you can turn off the hydrogen thrusters just to save on a bit of fuel. Anyway, if we were to move up and look down at this, we see how our wings have been set up with a bunch of hydrogen tanks built into them, and we can see a connector on the side of them, on the very edges of our wings, perhaps being connected up to the main body. Moving across, there's some hydrogen thrusters to slow ourselves down, with some blaster edge blocks in front of it. There's both of our large atmospheric thrusters to keep us off the ground. There's all of our conveyors coming across from our hydrogen tanks, across to the front of the cockpit. Over to this section, we can see an antenna and a projector, and that projector is going to be how we're going to repair up our missiles once we find them. So we're going to launch them all, go back to base, project them, come over with all the resources to weld them up, or even use a welding drone if you've got one of them set up in your base. Anyway, towards the front there, there is our fire cockpit, and we do have a little red light right in front of there, we've got an access panel to store a few bits and bobs inside. Moving all the way down, underneath here, past our camera, don't think we'll be able to see too much with grass, but there is our connector to the up, there's the bottom of our atmospheric thrusters, there's the bottom of our missiles with our hydrogen thrusters and our gyroscope. Over here, a couple more atmospheric thrusters, then towards the back, there we go. And that is a very brief look around the outside of the BX-63A missile fighter. <laughs> it looks bloody fantastic with how it's all been set up, and it gets even better when you launch some missiles. These things are still absolutely fantastic to use, such a great update to the game. I've been having a blast with it. But anyway, grabbing hold of my character, we now come all the way up to it. We'll get into the cockpit, lift off the ground, and get a closer look at our landing legs and how they work. So we have to move all the way up slightly. That should do. Grab hold of the free camera once again. Here are our landing legs. So there's the piston at the front. There's the pistons at the back. Moving all the way over to here, we should be able to make out the hinge right there next to our atmospheric thrusters. Now let's bring up the HUD, and then press number 8. What's going to happen is the pistons will retract, and then the hinges will move them all the way around. So just looking at the back legs at the moment, pressing 8, there we go, and in the flash, they are tucked away and are now out of the way. If we were to do it one more time, there we go, turning around towards the front one, looking at on the side, and there we are, that one's a little bit slower, looking at it from below. Nice simple stuff, 
That's very effective. And of course, if you really want to, you could grab a magnetic plate, slap it on the bottom of those steel blocks, and you'll be fine to, to clamp yourselves down on. But anyway, out of this, back into my character, and time to go through the controls. So number one would be for both our Gatling guns and the front to fire them both together. Number two is for our camera, just below our cockpit so we get a good view of what's going on. And of course use that to pinpoint target our missiles. Number three is for our connector, our small connectors around the ship. Number four is for our large connector below our ship. Number five is for our emergency thrusters at the back, which is our hydrogen thrusters, turn them on and off. And of course press number eight and move forwards without them. Here we go, you can see we are quite slow with that. It was to put them on and start to move forwards as well. We are now a little bit faster and it should help you while escaping enemies. Number six can be for our atmospheric thrusters at the front, so we can go to cruise control. There we go, turning back on. Number seven is then for our O2H2 generator. Number eight is what we saw earlier, with the land legs to deploy and retract them. Number nine is for our projectors for our missiles, so once we use them, we can now project them, repair them up if we need to. And over to tab number nine, this is for our missiles, where number five is a very important block. If we press that, it doesn't matter what we press on here, none of the missiles are going to fire, because this is our safety system to make sure we don't misfire into something we want to keep. So once we're ready to fire, we simply press number five, they're now ready and should go and attack an enemy if there was one present. But being they have launched, being they are away from the ship, what we can do, now come over to here, press number nine, and there we are, we now projected our missiles, and that's simply how they sit. So in a brand new one with all the missiles attached, all we're gonna do is just fly this thing around, see how it handles, and then it's off to the pirates. So moving forwards, this is what we get, We've got some nice speed, but we're still fairly slow for a small fighter. Coming to a stop, we are even slower, which is a bit of a problem if you are charging along towards your base. So you need to make sure you've got plenty of room between you and the base. Make sure you slow down in time. But of course, we do have plenty of gyroscope controls to do a 180, so he slows down a bit quicker. We're just going to do that one more time. Moving all the way forwards. Not sure what exploded over there. Now we just do a 180. And there we go. That's a lot better. Moving left. And then moving around, we'll cut slow with that. But small fighters don't really need to rely on them. So you will just be boosting around and using the gyroscope to maneuver everything around. Moving up, nice little speed with that. Moving down, again, some nice speed. Moving down feels faster than everything else. Then for gyroscope controls, as you saw from the 180, there is no weight on here whatsoever. It's not too floaty, like it does have a tiny bit of weight on there, so it does feel quite precise when moving this thing around. And it certainly suits this size of jib. But now what we can do, and as you can see in the distance, is go over to the pirate headquarters and see how this goes. So coming out of here into here, I need to find my missiles, because what I'm going to do is make sure they target the weapons first. And here we are, we now come to a stop, took a little bit of time to do that, but now we're ready to actually fire the missiles. So there is a pirate base, look at all those turrets all the way around this. And what I'm going to do, tab number 9, we're just simply going to fire all of them straight into it. So number 2, number 3, and number 4, off they go. And there they go in the distance. Down to there and hiding the HUD, we can see they're now trying to target the enemies. And they're sort of maneuvering around, they're trying to dodge the enemies. That one looks like it's going to go for the missiles on top. And it looks like they're having a little bit of trouble actually maneuvering. They might be getting shot, might be losing some thrusters, but they suddenly bashed into it. So now we're going to launch even more missiles. And here we go with then 6, 7 and 8. So after a short delay, the missiles come out, off they go. And back into the camera and see what they do. So there goes the missiles, they're now flying all the way over, zooming in and looking up. Here they go, they're sort of flying away into the distance, they now found their enemies going all the way down, straight into a building, and that's a nice bit of damage. It looks like they are trying to go for the missiles, but are slightly missing it. They might be going for interior turrets on the inside of the building, not too sure, but they're certainly doing what they're built to do. So yes, now what I can do is just come over here, press that, repair this up if I need to, I think it's far easier just to spawn in a few more. So turning around, we're now going to fly over it in third person view, hiding all of that, and over to tab number nine, and here we go. So now we're going to fly all the way up to it, all the way across. We'll drop some missiles here, so here goes the first three. Oop, we just clipped the wing there. But here we go, we're now flying over it, six, seven, eight, go and join the fun, and off they go. There goes the missiles, they're going for the missiles. <laughs> And now moving away, that's just an odd sentence to say, the missiles going for the missiles. But now the guns have turned on me, they are shredding me apart. Look at all the blocks missing on top, we are slowly getting away. We might be able to escape their range. We have, and... Well, certainly came out of that one piece, we can still fly away. 
and go back to base and rearm this, repair this up. But I think the last thing to do, of course, will be to slam straight into it. So here we go, just to finish off this video, we're now going to fly over to it, launch all of our missiles to act as a small distraction, and I'm going to do 6, 7, 8, and off they go. So in third person view, that's what that looks like. Here they all go. Now we're going to slam straight into the big tower in the middle. Three, two, one. And that was a nice bit of damage. But it doesn't look like it actually did any damage to the base. Look at that. I only seem to have damaged the ship. And now that's gone down to the ground. That was a very odd thing. But yes, that is that for the BX-63A missile fighter. It's a lovely little ship equipped with custom missiles that you could have a lot of fun with in your world. It'll work in survival mode. And of course, you can always strap on your own custom missiles. You have something bigger and more destructive. So be linked to it in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.